Okay. Where is the... Oh. Great bestiary. Not sure which one this is gonna be. I mean, it's gonna be a necrophage probably. Like... I'm pretty sure. Spotted white. Yeah, it's here. It's vulnerable to Igni and Yordan and Necrophage Oil, which is pretty obvious. Oh, when not to search, it won't be aggressive. If threatened, they became they become very dangerous. Okay. Let's look at everything else. Okay, perfect. Now let's go there. Can we fast travel? I mean, yeah. We can fast travel from here to the terms. And then go south. I guess that works. Sure. And when we get the level up, we can improve that one thing. Okay. Good. So, teleport. Yeah, I was here. I'm pretty sure I was here because I have this. Or maybe, the, yeah, there was probably no point of interest. So there was no reason for me to go there. You only have limited time to do some dialogue choices. Okay, maybe we can kill someone soonish if we can. There's more barkists there. Ugly bastard. Oh, may maybe it's gonna be possible. Ah, shit. Okay, perfect. We get a little bit more health there. Ah, we could have gotten one more. Well, that's too bad. Would have been nice. Oh, there's bar guests. Nice, we get one more. So we get exactly four more damage. Oh, we should repair my weapon. I guess I could have used the worst one. It was only 14% there. Well, whatever. Yeah, lots of weak, weak monsters would be probably best. What's this? A foglet. Hello, foglet. Excuse me, why do you fight like this? Eh. They do look they do lots of damage. Oh no, we need to kill one more. Shit. Oh, there is one more, I think. Our guests, never a good omen. Yes, we get a little bit more. Perfect. Nah, another bar guest. It's fine. This one was stronger. Oh, 
Oh, there's, there's more of them. Wasn't lying. Spoons all over the place. Okay. Oh, we lost bonus. Ah. Uh, well, whatever. That's fine. Lots of spoons. And ladle, ladles, uh, or whatever. Get a sense that the spoons are beating out some kind of rhythm, a message, trying to tell me something. Oh. Okay. Hello. Can we look inside? There's something written on the wall, but I can't read the runic, or whatever language that is. None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. Oh, so we have to go against the curse. We have to eat with the white. Wait, do we, do we have to eat at spit? I don't remember. Somebody's I think we do. Obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. So, three things. First of all, we have to eat with it. Second of all, there's, there's supposed to be a spoon that's gonna feed it. And then we have to give it a mirror. What a pigsty. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Okay. Another spoon? Spoon's incredible. The craftsmanship. Must have graced a rich man's table. <laughs> a spoon connoisseur. Oh. What's this? Stained diary. And this is spells, lots of backstory. Oh yes. Mirror lies no. Ah poor girl. Realized she was changing into a monster. Recorded it in her diary. Poignant. Lots of spoons. Wooden silver. A, a smashed mirror. Okay. Smashed mirror. As if someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. Journal's author, maybe? Yeah, that's pretty obvious. No spoon you have shall say to you. Whatever lives here treated that literally. Still searching for the right spoon. Okay, first of all, let's look here. There is a way down, I guess. Yep, somewhere. Just as normal as the last one. Maybe we find a magical spoon. Ooh, this looks nice. Spoon key! Spoon key. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. Spoon key notes. This certifies the item up for auction. Okay. Oh, that's quite far away. No, let's do the main quest then. Le Cage au Faux. No idea what that means. White's obsessed. Last. Real collector. Thoroughbred. Oh, yeah. The second Pilotons. one. Doubt they came here willingly. This have anything to do with the curse? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. It'd make sense. Oh, a letter. Marlene de Trastamara. Wait, wasn't Trastamara a dynasty in Spain? In the Middle Ages? Woman's name scratched into this wooden spoon. Romantic. Okay. Something behind this, maybe? No claw or fang marks. Probably choked to death. And this one? Broken neck. Indentation in the skull's lateral surface. Smacked in the head with something heavy. I think she didn't want to kill them. Right arm bit right off. Teeth oh. knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. Okay. Do we go down here? Yeah, we go down through here. Oh, OK. 
Okay, I guess that was a sight. Actually, does seem like a white slayer. Bit atypical, but still. Golden should be somewhere around here. Gold spoon? Hmm. I think I heard spoon, her downstairs. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Golden I was looking for. Why it's not particularly tidy. Okay, first of all, look, let's look down here. I mean... Examining Colden is probably gonna do something. Oh! Okay. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. And what about the book? Words of wisdom on beastly curses. Oh, it did want to break it. Curses that change a fellow into a monstrous creature have existed since the dawn of time. Yeah. White's obsessed. Real collector. Thoroughbred. Thousands of them here. Wait. White's oh, those aren't bones. Years. Those are spoons. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Okay. Nope. This is locked. Okay, let's go check the cauldron. And I guess some cups. And table set. Okay, table set. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse, and it's been trying desperately to lift it. So it is intelligent enough to try and lift it. Not sure how Another though. Spoon. Yep, I mean, it doesn't know. Was the last one. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. I'm afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. Let's see. Where is the spot? Oh, I guess we can... Oh, what's this? Oh, a mutagen? Hmm. Sure, let's go inside the... Inside some furniture. That makes sense. Oh, meditating. Okay. I am gonna try to lift this curse, but I'm kind of wondering what's gonna happen to her. I don't remember. Just making some nice soup. Uh, why? Why do you hold the weapon, the steel one? I'm gonna try to lift the curse. Hello, I came to eat with you. Nice and tasty. Hey there. I'm not gonna hurt you. Wanna help? I've seen the words of the curse on the walls. Think I know how to lift it. Oh? We're gonna eat together. You tried to bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now. Your willing guest. <laughs> Go and sit. Yeah, I'm gonna sit. Sure. Just need a bit for 
for Regis. And now we'll tend to you. <laughs> uh, let's eat not using the spoons. I mean, no spoons shall sate you, yes? Need to get this right. Words of the curse were none shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon We've done that shall sate you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. So we have to eat without spoons. I mean, that's pretty obvious. We can't use spoons. No, that won't work. You've been looking for a spoon that would feed you, but there's no such spoon. <laughs> we need to eat without spoons. And drink it directly. Yes. Polish. Polish the dish off. Polish it off. Oh, oh. that's disgusting. Oh, because it's polished off. Yay, the curse is off. The curse is lifted. Oh, that was very toxic. How much toxicity do I have right now? I mean, I'm pretty... Pretty... Oh, just 50%? I think it worked. Just not quite like I expected. Need to see what happened to the white. Won't be hard to find given its stench. Oh, I have to follow it. Okay. What happened? Oh, maybe we get some rewards for breaking the curse. There was that one, uh, that one door. Okay, she went here, she went there. Oh, there's some monster here. Oh, it, it's it's fire. Okay. White, what happened to you? Okay, it's dead. We go this way. Oh, it's there. Marlene, hello. Oh, you're a human now. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Easy, not gonna hurt you. Oh, she's old. Eat. I must eat. You don't have to worry anymore. I have lots of food. I can give you some, maybe. I'll take you someplace safe. Okay. Please loading screen. Tell me more. Tell me what's Oh Corvo Bianco. Oh, okay, she's gonna work for us maybe. So or... I took her by the hand and let her here. Oh. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. Don't worry, sir, I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? A curse. I mean, why... Why say this? I mean, she, yeah, she was cursed. Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've okay. heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. 
She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again. Since she adored feasts, he swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. I mean, it was simple. It was very simple, but I almost died. I mean, a human Curses would die. Curses are tricky. They play on irony. Always gotta figure out what the catch is. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons, and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? I mean, the first part Simplest was the solutions are difficult sometimes one. the last that come to mind. Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn hard to find willing human company for a feast. I imagine so. But, most importantly, it is now over. Please, don't worry. She will be in good hands here. Ever play Gwent? No. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. See you soon, Bibi. Oh yes, and we did level up. This means we can research this. So we have two slots for mutagens, so we can get... I mean, either we could get this one, Frenzy. It could be useful, but I think protection is actually a little bit more important. 25% protection, that's useful. Okay, and now we have to go back to Reggie. Reggie, I have the saliva! And I lifted the curse. That's also good, yes? Yes, that's good. Of course, we do have a fast roll point. Very nice. And we go further. Yeah, it does look a little bit more... I guess it's because of the light, but it looks a little bit more yellowy, beige color instead of white. That's still fine. I lo do like the white texture. Reggie, do you have the mixture? I have the saliva. Think your friend's hand will make for a nice broth? <laughs> mm. You've clearly honed your sense of humor. But we are not cannibals, Geralt. I took a fragment of tissue from the hand. It will suffice to prepare some resonance. What did you do with the rest? I cremated it, as our codex commands. A raven told me you'd acquired the necessary ingredient. Okay, and what about your thingy? And yes, ravens are helpful. Pretty helpful creatures. Calling them often? I try not to overdo it, but they can be so useful, as they were now, when I merely needed to be sure I could arrive in time should things go sour. Managed fine alone, but thanks for the thought. Gonna need much longer to finish brewing resonance? Mentioned the last ingredient, too. What about that? That, I fear, might prove troublesome. You see, to use the concoction to summon the memories of one, the solution must contain the blood of another specimen of the same species. Shouldn't be a problem. I mean... I happen to know a higher vampire who should be willing to help. Right, Regis? Yeah. It's not that simple, I'm afraid. While you were away, I tried my damnedest to identify a replacement. But, alas, none such I mean, exists. aren't you a vampire? I'm not sure I understand what the problem is. Can't we just draw some of your blood? The blood must be in an agitated state. As I'm certain you know, higher vampires can change their corporeal shell. As our flesh changes, so does our blood's chemical composition. To make a long story short, I shall need to induce in myself a state of strong psychokinetic arousal. In brief, madness, rabidity. And that stands to be very, very dangerous. Okay, so, I mean, for who? For everyone involved? Dangerous. For me, mainly. Why? I mean, you'll still be you, right? True. 
that I should be highly agitated, in a state of fury. You know better than I that fury cannot be controlled. If you've ever seen an enraged vampire, you know very well that all who find themselves nearby will be in grave danger. How will we handle that? I'd rather not have you lunge at me, claws extended. That makes two of us. But worry not. I've thought it through very thoroughly. Details to follow soon. Okay. All right. So what do you want to do? We shall visit Tesha Mudna, an ancient vampire estate. Ooh. There we will find cages suspended in the air. I will enter one, be confined. You will lure beasts there. Okay. Beasts you will then kill. The bloodletting should prove profuse. Abundant enough so that the blood scent will drive me mad. Wild. Okay. Uh, tell me more about it. Tesha Mutna. Tesha Mutna. What's it like? It is a place of torment. A torture chamber. Okay. Long ago, shortly after we'd arrived in this world, one among us named Kagmar developed such a taste and lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. This brought trouble on the entire species. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. They began to hunt us, seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. Forgive the comparison, but when did you last enjoy mosquitoes buzzing around your head? In any case, the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Tesham Mudna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Kagmar okay. was captured and locked in the cage. Sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Thus I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. Okay, uh, I need to prepare. Little expedition starting to sound dangerous. Think I better prepare. I understand completely. Do tell me when you're ready to set off. Mm, I do want to check. I did level up. No, it's so it grows by two each time. Okay. Uh, we have enough space. Can we, can we look at the skeleton, please? No. Regeneration potion formula. Lashen Fangs, Sankurum, Altranta, Vervain Extract, and Young Mandrake, okay. I guess it's fine. Unless maybe you can get something else here, like this book here. My last thoughts before I succumb to sleep, okay. Oh. Oh, it's his... Diary, basically. Is there no death? Does life exist? If there's no death. Oh, okay. He would like to stop thinking sometimes. And he's afraid Detlef would will die. And he's gonna be sad if it happens, okay? Huh. 